yo what's going on guys welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and the highly anticipated black order update is here or at least it will be here in a few hours we have the update notice and we have the uh, patch time here is going to be seven hours so if you have things in the game that you need to do i highly recommend that you get as much as you can done as early as you can because as you can see from 4 p.m pdt until 11 p.m pdt the game will be down for maintenance okay so for you check that out in your own time for me on the east coast it's gonna be from 7 p.m until 2 a.m so i'm gonna try and get as much as i can done as early as possible because you know when the update drops we're gonna test out some of the new stuff and usually we're open till like 5 6 a.m and then we're rushing to get some stuff done all right so in terms of uh content that is being added we're getting four new uniforms some characters are getting their potential uh they're doing some adjustment to the shield lab dispatch missions are being improved which is actually really cool super john's getting their ultimate stage story is being improved which i did not expect so yeah quite a bit so let's jump into it man uh these patch notes are actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie but uh, I know some people are not going to be happy with everything, but that's usually the case, right? Some people are always upset no matter what it is. So first and foremost, let's take a look at Super Giant. The long-awaited uh, Super Giant uniform is here along with the Super Giant Ultimate Stage. I'm kind of bummed out about what they did with the oldest lesson, but uh, we'll talk about that later on. All right, so uniform is 1050 to be expected. That's the standard price these days, premium uniforms and whatnot. In terms of uh, her uniform effect, I don't know why they think it's a good idea to add 25% ignore defense here. That's such a lame uniform bonus, especially with the crafting system in the game now. Pretty much everybody, once they craft like one or two cards, they have more than enough ignore defense. So this is just a useless uniform bonus effect in my opinion. And they know it, so I don't know why they add it here right if you're building a tier 2 native super giant you are not a new player you're not a brand new player so you have more than enough ignore defense so this is just lame to me right the ignore dodge is pretty good that can help you out against uh no the penetration is actually pretty good uh, i like the invisibility here that 70 percent chance 75 percent chance is actually really good it's better than our previous passive and then we have mind over matter increases your resistance everything is going up by 33 percent which is actually an interesting number i don't know why they chose 33 percent i don't get the reference maybe there's a comic book reference there i don't know i like that it's, it's a pretty good passive right the resistance the damage reduction and the dodge is actually pretty good she has stun on her first skill stun on her second skill on her third skill though it's actually pretty good she has iframe ignore and mind control Oof, and she has damage reduction here again so 30 percent here with 33 percent on her passive that's actually really nice for a character that had like no survivability before outside of one iframe that was on her fifth skill this is actually a pretty big improvement plus she has a proc right that's actually really really good there and then we have paralysis which will work against uh war boss ultimate stages actually pretty good she has defense down that's next to 50 percent that's not the greatest okay let's go down let's see what else we have here hp recovery on her new fifth skill that's actually really good all attack and all defense buff oh it's been a while since we've seen them give all speed right 35 percent that's strange usually they put like one percent or like 30 percent. i don't know why they put 35 percent because the cap on like attack speed and movement speed is 130 percent and every character starts off with a baseline of uh 100 so no idea why they chose 35 percent here just seems kind of silly to me but whatever uh getting the all speed here just means you don't want to roll for a uh, power frank hulk for her you want to go with um overdrive overdrive Cause especially since you have the extra crit right there 40 percent it's actually really really nice gonna be super easy to cap out her stats overall her uniform um her new skills and stuff look really really good okay let's jump over and take a look at my guy corvus clave now first and foremost this change that they did to his typing right i think they did this for abx to replace bullseye that's my personal opinion and i kind of like that just saying but what i don't like 
is the fact that um, now he has a weakness. He's weak to combat types, right? Whereas before he had no weakness because he was a universal type. I am not really a fan of characters that didn't have weaknesses before now having weaknesses. But I guess with this, he could become meta for ABX, which before he couldn't have been because he was universal, right? So he would be competing against the likes of Null, which, you know what I'm saying, tier three native and all, I don't think he would have kept up with a big boy. So as for the uniform bonus, he has a 20% physical attack, which is actually pretty good. Plus he increases his damage to superhero types. I think he should have been like everybody, right? 30% is actually nice, but I think it should have been everybody because he doesn't discriminate, right? He just claps you if you need to be clapped, right? And then we have 25. Okay, so this is very similar to uh, Super Giant, but it's uh, skill damage and bonus damage. But uh, I like this. This is better than his old passive because I don't think he has summons anymore from what I saw on the live stream. So Spear of Pain, just stun. Uh, okay, so the, the silence here is actually really good for like ABX and stuff. Does he have burn as well? He has um, bleed here, paralysis, uh, defense down 50%. He recovers HP equal to 10%. Okay, so this is the lifesteal effect. I really like this. This is something that Blade should have had. And we've seen them do this with uh, Morbius. So I really, really like this. Um, let's see. Stun here again. Super armor, all defense. Um... So he only gets one. Interesting. He only gets silence. If they really wanted to make him like super meta for ABX, I would have liked to see burn as well in here. Right? So maybe they don't want to fully replace Bullseye. I guess. I don't know. But he has silence, so he's going to be good for ABX. Uh, unless his damage is just pure doo-doo, but like... 55% all attack here. That's actually really, really good. Plus the attack proc. Okay, we'll see how good he turns out to be. If he did, if they change him to um speed and he doesn't at least become ABX metal for like a month or two, then I think it was a pointless change personally. All right, so then we got my baby. Mwah. My, that's my baby. That's my baby. You know, we got Praxima. Uh, 1050 on the uniform. They're changing a few different effects. Okay, applies to villain allies. Oh, so they gave her, wow, they gave her what I wanted Ebony Ma to get. So what is Ebony Ma going to get? Wow. So she's going to be the one that buffs not just the Black Order, but everybody. Well, all the villains in the game now. That 45, sorry. <laughs> I'm so used to the 45, 45 from uh, Mystique. But anyways, that 40% superhero damage and that 35 percent villain damage okay that's actually nice bro that's nice and then all allies wait a second they're changing her leadership did they change leaderships for these guys too they didn't change the no no yeah did these guys leadership stayed the same super giant had a debuff leadership before so they i guess they didn't feel like changing that or improving that but proxima is getting the works boys the uniform bonus is bomb her leadership is being improved so this is gonna be pretty good for null right 45 percent ignore dies is good for null plus 30 percent well to be honest on most characters that you're using in uh world boss legend their uh crit damage is already capped out because most people have crafted their cards and stuff but it is what it is that's actually pretty good all right Relentless Pursuit, activate when her HP is below 40%. Uh, she recovers 40% of her max HP, so she jumps back up to 80%, and she becomes invincible for 5 seconds. This happens every, like, 1 minute and 30 seconds. That's, that's actually pretty good. So when she's about to die, she just heals up and becomes invincible. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I hope she has another heal, though. That doesn't require her to be super low on HP, but it's nice that you... Don't have to worry about her dropping dead. So that's good. That's a big survival ability boost for her. The Demolisher. All right. So this is 50% chance to penetrate everything. Um, she had something similar to this before. Um, effect reactivates after it's been removed. Okay. That's pretty good. I wish it was 75%, but 50% is okay. Because here's the thing. Proxima, I think, is just a PvE character. So uh, the penetration is not going to come into play too, too often. Outside of maybe Alliance Conquest, right? So she has Shock and she has Thunder. She has 
Stun and Silence. I guess Silence could be useful for uh, ABX. She has a... Uh, okay, she has 60% defense down. So you could get some use out of her in a uh, War Boss Ultimate. She has a guaranteed dodge. That's 30%. She has guaranteed crit. That's actually really good. Guaranteed crit is really, really good if you have... And it's actually on an active buff. That's really strange. Usually this is like on a passive. But okay, you can reapply it um every five and a half seconds for six seconds so you can probably keep this up really actually you know one really good thing about proxima is like the cooldown times are really low you could get some work done with her in pvp from what i saw in the live stream that's actually pretty good okay paralysis here we have a nice attack buff Ooh, 60 percent and then we got the all speed is at one percent which we expect and then we have a 100 okay chance to be immune okay that's cool I thought it was like a penetration chance or something like that, but whatever. Okay, Proxima looks really good, man. I think they gave Proxima a lot of love. Okay, so this is like a PvP effect because she can decrease their attack. She can heal. That's actually really good. Invincibility. So she gained, yeah, she gained so much survivability. And another attack buff here. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely going to be like the strongest, like the more offensive member of the... Uh, the three characters that we see here but may maybe not you never know like sure she has all these buffs but maybe they have like higher damage than her i don't know but i, I think proxima got a lot of love right between the uh the recovery the hp healing that's this, that's just a big thing that's a big thing for me all right so salute to net marble uh the black order uniforms are looking pretty good the only one i'm kind of worried about is uh Corvus. if he doesn't end up to be like super super like op for abx and i think it was a bummer for them changing him to uh what you call it to speed all right next thing is uh call obsidian they changed this guy to uh combat um kind of confused as to why because apocalypse is really 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 strong so unless he can compete with apocalypse for abx or like the maker for abx i think it was like a pointless change so it'll be interesting to see if this guy actually becomes meta for abx that's the only reason i can see for the change right because now he's weak to blast types and blast types are some of the strongest in the game so um his pvp potential is gonna take a hit right there <laughs> okay so anyways uniform is giving him 20 percent more uh, hp he uh reflects 100 of the physical damage received so kind of like luke cage i guess the uh 30 extra damage that he would take from uh, blast types he just gets as um damage reduction so i guess that the uh type change doesn't affect him too too much i guess with this applies to all allies that's his leadership okay they changed it okay so this is definitely like the luke cage thing okay applies to black order okay yeah this is what i said they're, they're trying to create like a team-based meta decrease damage received from reflect by 60 percent okay immune to stun effect and immune to guard break that's really really good every what every five seconds he recovers seven percent of his max hp because of the blind rage when he's below 90 percent he got stun there Okay, so he has iframe ignore. That's really good. We got stun and fracture. We got defense down. That stacks up to 50%. We got penetration. Okay, so he can heal here 25% of his max HP, 35% all attack. Um, I don't see him being super met. Ooh, hold up. Pause, 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 pause. Damage accumulation 1.1%. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> okay okay cuz i thought they were throwing you to the wolves and leaving you out there to dry and shafting you like last time but no all right we got some damage accumulation down here boys we're in business chef's kiss let's get it all right so he might actually be able to put in some work boys we gonna drop the bag yo make sure y'all drop them likes boys we 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 go we go put some work into all three of them boys all three of them anyways so new uniforms on sale for 40 percent we know that all right uh ebony maw dark obsidian armor will be displayed after the update but will not be available for purchase okay will not be available for purchase the purchase schedule for this uniform will be announced later on so ebony is not being shafted boys they are just doing a slow rollout they want to keep the hype rolling for the update we've seen this 
multiple updates in a row, right? They don't want to drop everything at once no more, right? Because then people come in and then they play for like a week or two, then they get bored and they start crying. We need the next update right now. We need their next fix, like dope fiends, you know? So they just roll it out slowly and give you that small drip, all right? Cool. Then they're giving Killmonger level 70, Claw, I don't know, this seems like a really weird assortment of characters, but if your favorite character is here, sure, go ahead, man, get down with it, get them to level 70 so that when they get something, you can, uh, you can laugh it up, you know? So, Proxima. Okay, baby, we got defense down 70% on your tier 3, so you get even better for War Boss Ultimate. She can heal again! What? Oh my god, yo, my girl, she glowing up! Bro, now she has three ways to heal. That's insane. They got ignore dodge 70%. We got more penetration on Woo! Debuff removal. Woo woo! Okay, um, I ain't really like the accumulation only being 0 0.6. I ain't really like that, but she has a lot of buffs. So maybe this is to balance that out. But I like that she gets accumulation though. That's really good. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. So for you. You have accumulation 0 0.5. Okay. You have accumulation it's uh, 1% on your awaken skill. And for Call Obsidian, he doesn't have accumulation on his awaken skill. However, for him, the reason why they didn't do that is because he has accumulation already in his uh, base kit 1 through 5. And I think this is better than having it on your awaken skill because you can activate it. Well, for him right here, what is that? every uh eight and a half seconds whereas these guys they can only put it up what every uh 30 seconds right so he might end up being <laughs> the best dps out of all of them we'll see all right then we have a little uh showcase a little display of their awakened skill there um I'm, I'm excited for this man i'm excited so now they're talking about the uh shield lab they're actually changing into the craft system all right let's see what is going on here now boys you can actually check that out you can actually convert essence, black antimatter. I don't know if there's going to be the exact materials you can use. It would be nice if you can choose which materials you want and it's not being locked behind um, just like preset options. But you can create tier 3 mats from tier 2 mats. Or a little bit of tier 3 mats. But if it's essence, turning uh, essence into a TCP is actually really good because you always have a surplus. Or at least I always have a surplus. It's actually a really, really good system. So salute to Netmarble for that, man. Salute to them. They know what's going on. They know what we need. And they're changing it up. So the uh, Dimension Tokens, they're actually being moved to um, Dispatch Missions. That's actually pretty good. That means I don't have to run those missions that cost me gold anymore. When I earn gold, I can get energy and I can get those tokens. And then I can use those tokens to... Um... Oh, this is nice. Yeah, we can use those tokens to um, buy stuff in the uh, new Shield Lab slash Crafting Shop. All right? This is actually really good. So now you can see all the species in the game, different like races and stuff. That's actually really, really cool. That wasn't there before. I don't know why they have these capitalized and this like in common letters. It looks really weird, but it is what it is. I like that. All right. So in dispatch missions now, you can get bonus dispatch XP so you can get that chest more often if your character's growth score are higher. So basically, the more you invest in your characters, the, the more you get back. So some UI such as the uh, growth uh, grade and the uh, reward list and stuff have been improved. That's actually really good. Okay, so they basically put the refresh button at the bottom here. Okay, so the item shop of the shield lab has been transferred to dispatch missions. The original item shop level before the update will be reflected. Wow, agents that have not crafted the item shop will have it and it will start at level one. The rank up materials from the item shop have been changed to uh, gold and gear up kit instead of uh, anti -ma Okay, this is actually pretty cool. So basically, they're trying to phase out some of the uh, the features from the shield shop and put it in dispatch missions. Interesting. So war boss ultimate for super giant has been added. I wonder if they'll add new war boss ultimate stages in the future. Now that we see that, even though we have legends, they'll still go back and put um ultimate stages i wonder if they'll still do that after this one or they just wanted to finish off super giant so people could be happy all right so first and foremost they changed the odin's blessing in here from magic which gives you double energy attack to balance which gives you energy attack and physical attack i don't really like that 
because I feel like this Odin's Blessing is not as useful as the other one because there's no character in the game that uses energy and physical attack, right? They either use energy attack or physical attack. So I don't really like that. And I feel like the reason why they changed this is because they didn't want to give out the best Odin's Blessings in the game, right? For free. I think that's this the only reason why they did it. So for me, I'm not going to spend too much time or probably any time at all playing this new boss fight. So I feel like they probably spend time designing this boss fight and stuff. And 90% of the players now are not going to play. New players are going to play it. Like on my free to play account, I'll play this. On my main account, I ain't going to play this. I'll tell you that. All right, for balance, nah, bro, I'd rather go take a uh, guaranteed CCF. Maybe I'll go in here in trial mode, but then on trial mode, I'll be like a stage one, All right? So, like, it ain't even going to be fun. It's just going to be easy clapper, right? So, uh, I think that that was a, a, a dumb move, personally, but hey, you can't win them all, right? They, they, they're not perfect. They're just human, you know? They, they, they decided, you know what, they'd rather uh, give out the balance than give out the magic. It is what it is. Right. Could be worse. It could have been worse, I guess. The challenges and war boss challenge records have been added to Super Giant Ultimate difficulty. You can acquire biometrics of the according war boss or X genes by clearing a war boss ultimate stage. Oh, so before before you could only get biometrics for um war bosses if you did like normal mode right you couldn't get it from ultimate so they're actually putting it in ultimate now so you don't have to go back and play normal mode that's actually pretty good because i know a lot of you guys you didn't have these black water characters like before so actually now you don't have to go back and play like normal mode and miss out on some of the tier three maps and stuff right so that's pretty good um for story mode now you can actually get xp for your characters before you couldn't right that's okay that's pretty good um i'm pretty sure that's just for normal mode though because like for uh ultimate you already have to have your characters done like they have to be tier three or transcended so the xp thing will only take place in normal mode anyways moving on the first clear rewards of some of the stages have been changed okay looks like they buffed it a little bit all right so story fragments can now be sold don't accidentally sell your things i don't know why anybody would want to sell their fragments especially since the fragments have a chance to give you odin's blessings premium cards isos and uh ctps and apparently now there's a pop-up message to tell other people in the game because they want to advertise this piece of content right do you right so basically um pop-up that's gonna happen now when you get premium items so that other people can go play those game modes that's actually a pretty good idea right because some people might just think it's like a farce a facade right and people can really get stuff so that's actually pretty good anyways so now there's a new mission available guided quest for new players on my free to play account i'll take advantage of this where you can upgrade some characters to tier two i believe these are going to just be older characters or free to play characters right i don't think you're going to get the option to uh it's actually really good it's going to help me out on my uh free to play account since it's a new account right and you also get another opportunity i wonder how many times you can do this because right, you get 50% off the selected character uniform, which is really good because on a new account, they give you a 50% discount on the very first uniform you ever buy. But then after that, you don't get 50% off again. So if you could choose a new character and work on them every single time and then get a 50% discount on their uniform, that actually would be really good. Right? It says, when you already have all the uh, designated heroes at tier 2, level 60 or above, you cannot begin the guided quest. So... I think it's going to be like a bunch of old free to play characters and this is meant to help out new players. So this is really, really good. So let's see down here. Yeah. So you can do this for every single one of these characters. Oh, wow. There's this and top tier options in here, like Hulk, Venom, Vision, Daredevil, Black Bolt, Thor 2, like Iron Fist. Oh yeah, man. This is so freaking good. What? Bro, if you could do this, if you can do this, hold on. Oh, a maximum of 10 times. Oh, there's a limit. Oh, I thought you could do this for every single one of them. I was going to praise these guys. Sooner. Okay, but still 10, 10, 10 uniforms. Wow. 10 uniforms at 50% off. This is so good, man. 
yeah so i might i might put together a list of like the top 10 options here so if you guys want that let me know in the comments smash that like button and stuff but like yeah there's some really good options in here man like the the devil right the black bolts the iron fist the, the ghost rider you know the vision man and like here's the thing about these characters eventually right every one of them will have a run at like being a top tier character so sure they might not be top tier now but who knows right winter soldier falcon right their their time might be coming up soon right so anyways man let's jump in see what else they got down here for us so if you're buying stuff when you're repurchasing it you get a little bonus there some extra crystals that's actually pretty good some extra incentive it's only 25 crystals and it's for three days okay so you get an extra 75 crystals it's nothing crazy but it's all right and then we got uh some new icons and the new future pass there's no bios in here because obviously we're not getting no new characters but okay future pass will apply immediately okay cannot be refunded we got a new sexy icon for my girl aurora let's go okay let me see let me see you got spider-man there too that's actually pretty nice i wonder if we'll see some of these ever come back yo spider-man looks sick Yo, Spider-Man looks sick, bro, V. <laughs> what you mean? Oh, Storm looks sexy, too. Look at that. Look at that, my baby. Spraying the mug. Spray him down. <laughs> okay. Yo, Black Order one looks sick. I ain't gonna lie. They all look sick. They all look sick. So, it look like the Black Order one, you're gonna have to choose between, like, the, uh, the Mega Tier 2 and uh, all them stuff in the, the event shop. Yeah, that, that's gonna be a tough. Sh that's gonna be a tough one, man. If you don't spend money on the game, missing out on this one. I, I might even skip out on this one. I ain't gonna lie because it, <laughs> the rewards in the shop is always pretty nice. I might buy this though because Spidey's my boy, bro. But like, real talk, y'all need the most Spider Man. Yo, free Spider Man, bro. All right, so they're doing a little uh, uniform thing there. There's no crystals in there, but there's uh, 150 TCP. Um, they're touching up the uh, crafting system. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. So, right here. There's a magnifying glass that will show you how far along these characters are in terms of their gears and everything. And even like how far along their uniforms are, if they have a uniform for, for Ares, as you can see, he has no uniform. So you don't see any uniform options here, but it will show you like their uh, combat type enhancement for these characters. They're all at zero. So it actually is a pretty good feature. All right, let's move on so achievement level has been expanded from 75 to 100 just because we have more characters in the game or at least more characters that people are able to like rank up and stuff so you can get more achievements for them now so they're increasing the achievement all the way to 100 i don't know if they're buffing the rewards in the box i don't believe so so heating issue of certain devices have been improved that's actually really good because a lot of people run dispatch machines overnight and then your phone can overheat and stuff I would highly recommend you do it on an older phone. Don't do it on your day to day. So use a burner for that. All right. The issue of a certain structure blocking the screen and timeline has been improved. I don't know about that. When touching the purchase button in uh, special offers of legendary bottle, pop up screen will appear to uh, confirm your purchase and stuff. That's actually pretty good. All right. So, vision. The leader ability has been added to vision. Oh, oh yes, because vision in the new uniform gives 70% all attack to uh, Wanda and 20% to everybody. Okay, so they put him in the leader category right now. I thought they meant leadership, like the uh, the White Fox thing. Okay, so besides that, there has been one major improvement that's been kind of annoying myself and a couple of my guild members as well. I know we hate seeing that red dot in the Alliance challenge where you can't get your energy. This has been fixed, so now everybody can get their energy. So thanks to the Future Fight team for that. A couple of the uh, fixes here. You guys can read through that on your own. Um, I don't think anything else is like that important. I think this <laughs> energy fix is the best. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think, man. I think they uh, did some some great work here in regards to uh, buffing these characters and adding some, some pretty nice features. So I'm going to be enjoying this update and uh, dropping a couple dollars. Uh, so I might be streaming later on today if you guys want to come through and say what up to your boy. All right, till next time, be safe. I'll catch you guys. Peace out.